Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I don't know what to say. Hey guys, for today's video, I'm starting another prompt journal. It's Wreck This Journal. I will continue to do my Create This Book series. I actually asked you guys on the community tab, I did a poll over there, and we voted very fairly. There was nothing rigged about the poll. We, we all decided that Wreck This Journal was the best prompt journal for me to try next. <laughs> I actually just wanted to try Wreck This Journal because I found it in my house. Oh my. Who left you alone? I discovered on the back actually that it was my sister Alina that left it alone. I gave it to her very lovingly as a gift for her 16th birthday, see here? And she never completed it. She, she chewed things, she spit on things, she licked things, but she did not really uh, complete the book. So I'm going to be taking this into my loving ownership. Let's start on the first pages. All right, so the first page I decided to do was the pour, spill, drip, spit, fling your coffee here page. I knew I wanted to decorate this with markers and since I know my markers bleed through the page, I decided to make a sketch on a separate piece of paper and cut out the prompt. After completing my sketch, I then went in with a black alcohol marker and started outlining everything. I had two problems with this. The first problem was that the marker was a little bit thicker than I intended and it was really hard to get the fine details. You can see over here, I really messed the fingers of this, this hand up. Looks like it has broken fingers. I had a similar problem with the small fine details of the lip right there. Because this kept happening, I decided to just exaggerate the thick and thin lines and make it part of the art piece. And now to explain my second problem. These markers bleed very heavily. And that is honestly because I am using the quote unquote wrong material. I'm using printer paper with alcohol markers. Usually with alcohol markers, you should really be using a thicker paper, but I don't want to buy the thicker paper. So for this page, as you can probably already tell, I decided to loosely follow the instructions. I did not take coffee or tea or anything and spill it on the page. I guess I could have. I just really honestly didn't think of it at the time. I was more interested in coloring and creating something with my markers. While I was coloring in the background, I realized that my hands were covered in markers. So I started smudging things and then I thought, oh, let me cover it up with pink. Why would you do that? This decision is so infuriatingly dumb when you consider the idea that I could have put coffee stains in the background. I added some highlights to the coffee and the drink, added some highlights to her lips and eyes and put it in the book. I also outlined the window to the prompt just because I wanted it to look cohesive. And this is what the final thing turned out looking like. Overall, I'm pretty happy with it. I don't really like the background, I'll be honest, but the rest of it looks like pretty good to me. The next prompt is figure out a way to freeze this page. Because I plan to use my markers again, I also took a separate piece of paper for this prompt and traced the ice cube and cut it out. To come up with an idea for this page, I actually decided to ask you guys for help on the community tab. This is called the emoji challenge, I believe. You ask for three emojis and then incorporate them into a drawing. So for pick a starting face, you guys chose the winky face with the tongue out. For pick an activity, you guys chose dancing. And then for the outfit, you guys chose a fairy. So my character will be a dancing fairy making a winky face. I'm the type of person that likes to draw without really having a plan in mind. And that works out for me sometimes, and other times it doesn't. I was able to successfully incorporate the fairy and the winky face. The dancing, not so much. I was going for a dance pose, but I don't think it came across as well as I had hoped it would. I chose a light tan and a darker tan for some shading for the face. I started off by using the lighter tan color to color the face in. I then took the darker color to do some of the contours. So I contoured around the face, in the ear, around the nose, and the cheeks. I also added some dark blush, and by the end, she had a tad bit too much makeup on. But that's okay, she looks more like this, and she's going to look like this. When in doubt, blend it out. After going over everything with some tan and blending it out, I think the face started to look normal, so I moved on to the hair. I wanted the hair to come across icy, so to do that I used different colors of blue and gray and really did a lot of- A lot of blending was involved in this head of hair, but by the end I actually really liked the hair. I moved back to the face after it had dried and started on the eyes. 
I guess the eyelids hadn't fully dried, so I got some smudging around the eyes, but that is okay because I actually decided to do a snowy theme for the makeup of this person, this fairy. I took my white gel pen and made little balls of snow on the tips of her eyelashes, which I thought looked super cool. I then outlined her eyebrows and filled it in with some white gel pen so it looked like snow as well. I made the tip of her fairy ear, like the pointy ear, a snow color, and I also added snow highlights to her hair and made the tips of her hair frozen. Moving on to the, um, wings. I was not very sure how to draw fairy wings. I've never even drawn a fairy before, to be honest, and I just don't know if this was how they're supposed to look. I kind of like the way they came out. I like the blended look to them at the very least, but I'm not quite sure if I'm sold on the wings. I made the fairy's dress a darker, more vibrant blue. I guess it's like a royal blue color. I feel like it looks a little bit like a purpley, but it's it's mostly it's mostly blue. Yeah, no, that that is blue. Is blue purple color blindness a thing? I feel like if if it is, I might I might have it because I feel like every time I look at this color blue in particular, I feel like it's just a little bit purple. Am I crazy? Doesn't that look like a little bit purple? It's blue, but it's also slightly purple. I don't know. What? I added some snow to the tips of the wings. I took the thinnest black marker that I have and just gave anything that looked like it needed a crisper line a crisper line. I outlined the background snowflakes in black and then put a white gel pen on top so it looked like there was a drop shadow to it. I glued the page into the book, outlined the ice cube, and then colored it in so that it looked like everything fit together. And this is what the final thing turned out looking like. I am being dramatic, but this might be my favorite thing that I have ever drawn on my channel. Nay, it might be my favorite thing I've ever drawn in my whole life. I love it so much. I think it looks so cute. I just love her face. Ah, next page. Okay, so this page is scratch using a sharp object. So for this page, I went with the obvious. I went with a cat, but there's going to be a twist, guys. Just wait for it. So I'm sketching out a cat, and by the end, it just looked so, so sad. The, the cat just looked like he was he was crying. What, what happened to you? What did they do? What am I wrong? Meow. I just want to cry for this cat. He's crying on the inside. What did they do to you? What's wrong? Tell me. <laughs> I wanted the colors to be very scratchy, to kind of go with the scratch theme, so I did very short strokes and didn't color everything in all the way. I moved on to the face, and of course, with the black outline, everything smeared. <laughs> I added some white gel pen, and this is how it turned out. And I was ready to give up, throw in the towel, but then I saw it. No, 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 it can't be. It just can't. Is that who I think it is? You fool. It's you. It's always been you. In an attempt to have a second chance at fixing this cat, I decided to go with the outline that was underneath it and give the same kind of scratches and see if I could do a better job than the first cat. It turns out I couldn't. Uh, it's definitely not worse than the other one, but it's also not better. I would say that they are equally bad, so I will use both of them. I took an incredibly long amount of time to figure out the placement for these long lost lovers. I honestly wish I went with this one, it's so sweet. Once I figured out where to place the cats, I glued them down, and then I took my white gel pen and my regular pen and added some scratches to the page just to fill it out and make it look like it had some cat scratches. And this is what the final thing turned out looking like. I actually really like it, I think it's different, and it looks scratchy, you know? The shoutouts for this week are It's Totally K, Seen You, SS Challenges, Ellie underscore Arts 05, Jupiter Jane, Scarlet Pumpkin, Shira, Bryn, Emma Ray, and Shireen. Up next is color the entire page. So for this, I decided to do a blended rainbow. I know it's quite basic of me to use a rainbow, but honestly, I like rainbows and I wanted something simple to fill the page with, so this is what I went with. After I got my rainbow looking the way that I wanted it to, I took my white gel pen and started making outlines of flowers. I debated pretty heavily if I wanted to put these white outlines all over the page or just in some places. I opted for minimal white lines, but let me know what you guys think. Once I glued it into the book, I cut off the excess paper and I also gave an outline to the prompt. And this is what it turned out looking like. Like I said, I know this one is pretty simple, but I actually really like the way it looked. I think it's very... Nice, it's a good, it's a good one. 
That's it for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you next Sunday for another video. Bye.